This is Power BI in two minutes. And in this video, we're gonna talk about that how do you build an Excel-like pivot table, but in Power BI. So the first thing that you would wanna do is get to the visualization panel. So your visualization panel could be here, depending upon the version that you're working with, or you can go to the visual gallery right here in the home tab, or maybe select the new visual from here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the page and say that I'd like to add a new visual. Now, once you're choosing the visual, it seems like that there is a table visual which is going to be like a pivot table, but the table visual is not a pivot table. However, the matrix visual right here is the pivot table. So I'm gonna maybe choose the matrix visual. Once you do that, you're gonna get the same options that you get in Excel. You have the rows, you have the columns, and you have the values, and I can drag elements of, or the columns of my data. So let's just say that in the rows, I would wanna have from the calendar table, I wanna have, let's say the year being dragged right here. I can just click that, and the year is right here. Then maybe uh, in the columns, I can just click add data, and I can just go over to the products table and maybe have the band of the products. And maybe what I can do is I can, in the value section, I wanna have my total sales. So I can just search for the measure, total sales, and I can add that right here. And now what you see is that you have an Excel-like pivot table created right here, which is where you have the band of the product, the year, and the total sales presented right here. Couple of enhancements to this pivot table before you leave. The first thing is that you can also add layers to the pivot table, like subsections to items in the rows. So if I just click on the add data in the rows of the pivot table, maybe I can just also add the quarters in here. So I can just click on the quarters, and that's how I can see there's a plus sign here, which I can click and I can expand on the pivot table. So I click on the first one, and I have the four quarters. In case you would like to expand all the row items right here, what you can do is you can click on this little arrow right here. It's like a fork arrow. You can click right here, and then you will be able to expand all the items together. And if I just click right here, it'll be able to expand all the row values right here. Couple of more things, in case you'd like to increase the size of the text of this pivot table, just click right here. Go over to the format right here. In the format, you can search for something called as font. And then I am going to get something like a global font size. So let's just take a look. Here in the options, we have a global font size. I can just perhaps increase that to 15. And now my pivot table looks a lot more legible. One additional thing that a lot of people would need is that they would want to have the classic style pivot table. How do you do that? Very, very simple. So I'm going to maybe click on the pivot table, then go over to the format. Again, in the format, I'm going to search for the word step and I will turn off the step, and that is gonna give me an Excel-like pivot table, which is where I have the year, the quarter, and the columns presented right here, and that is the pivot table that I always wanted to create, but in Power BI. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI, and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create, and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.